Alright guys, so iOS 26 developer beta 3 has now been out for several days and in today's video, as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I've noticed after using the latest beta for several days. Now today we'll talk about two additional new changes that I've noticed over the past three to four days after using the third beta. We'll also talk about my first initial impressions of battery life and performance on the latest beta. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is two additional changes that I've noticed within iOS 26 developer beta three. Now I have two iPhones here sitting on my desk. On the left, I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max running beta two. And on the right, I have my iPhone 16 Pro Max running beta 3 so that you guys can actually see the difference between the two betas. So let's talk about the app switcher because I've noticed a change in behavior when it comes to the app switcher from beta 2 to beta 3. So if I launch an app, let's say the settings application here, let's go into the app switcher and tell me if you've noticed the difference in behavior. Now if you didn't catch that, you see here that in beta 3, the settings application stays in the forefront and you can barely see the second app behind it. In beta 2, it actually spreads everything evenly and you can see all the other apps running in the background. However, if you're on the home screen, both devices behave the same way. So we go into the app switcher here and you see that settings, which is the last app that we launched, stays in the forefront and you can barely see the apps in the background. So let me show you that again. Let's jump into settings and now here in beta 3, setting stays in the forefront. In beta 2, it spreads it out evenly. If you're in the home screen, they both behave the same way, keeping the last app in the forefront. So a minor change in behavior when it comes to the app switcher, if you're you know, switching between applications in beta 3, the last app will stay in the forefront. Now I've also noticed that in beta 3, we now have labels instead of icons to represent certain menus. So let me show you a quick example here. So in beta 2, if I slide over to the left here to delete or set a reminder, you get the icon and you get the icon for the trash there to delete but in beta 3 take a look here we now have actual labels so we have the reminder label as you can see right there reminder and we also have delete which is the icon plus the label better identifying and this translates throughout the entire OS so if you go to delete something in messages or in photos and things of that nature you now get labels instead of icons for the most part throughout iOS 26 developer beta 3 all right so now I want to talk about battery live and performance because I have some good news that I wanted to share with you guys. Finally, I have some good news to share with you guys in regards to battery life, but let's talk about performance first. So let's go here into the benchmarks. Let me show you here. So the first performance benchmark here, this is beta three. The one below that is beta two. So as you take a look at these numbers here, the single core score is nearly identical, but the multi-core score in beta three has increased slightly, not by much, but the performance has increased slightly. And it shows I haven't encountered too many bugs and issues within the latest beta. Of course, there's always going to be bugs and issues with software, whether it's beta or not. But in terms of performance, everything is running pretty nice on the third beta. I've encountered this weird bug sometimes where the icons disappear from the home screen when I unlock my iPhone. But other than that, I haven't encountered any major beta issues with this latest beta. One thing that I do want to point out for those of you asking, my banking applications that were not working before are now working on the latest beta for those of you asking in regards to that. Now, the bigger news here, in my opinion, has to do with battery life. Now, battery life in iOS 26 beta 1 and beta 2 was horrible. Now, when compared iOS 26 beta 3 to previous betas, battery life has improved quite a bit. So with this latest beta, I actually get through my entire day without having to worry about plugging my iPhone in every several hours. So finally, I can say that the third beta definitely improves battery life dramatically when compared to beta 1 and beta 2. Keep in mind that battery life still needs plenty of work, but this is definitely a good sign. I finally have that good news that you guys have been waiting on. Apple is now focusing on stability, performance, and of course, and battery life. Now, iOS 26 developer beta 3 is easily one of the most controversial beta updates as Apple changes liquid glass quite a bit with this latest beta. Now, we have two different kind of users. We have the users that really love liquid glass and users that really do not like the liquid glass. Now within beta three is more noticeable within light mode. You see there the actual UI is not as glassy as it was before 
with beta 2 and beta 1. So yeah, Apple will continue to adjust liquid glass, but yeah, we have everybody divided at this point where some users want a lot of liquid glass and some users don't want liquid glass at all. Now I put this concept together here and hopefully Apple will see this video and perhaps consider adding a toggle to add liquid glass or remove liquid glass, right? Go from liquid to frosted glass. For those of you that don't want the liquid glass, I'm not sure that Apple will ever do something like this, but who knows, maybe at some point they will actually do something like that to, you know, please both sides. The ones that really love and want that liquid glass and for the ones that don't love it, I think that would be a viable solution. Let me know what you think about that in those comments down below. Either way, guys, that is the latest on beta three. Stay tuned here to the channel. The first public beta should be available soon. I'll keep you guys posted. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.